Hey guys, welcome back to the number one channel for exploring podiatry. My name is Yoda and I'm a third year podiatric medical student at CSPM. And today I'm gonna to be sharing six resource tips that every first year podiatric medical student should have. So let's start. So the first resource that I would definitely recommend that all first years should have is definitely something like a sketchbook or an iPad or a tablet. You need somewhere where you need to write down all your notes. So for me, I personally learn best when I write down all my notes. And so I love having something like a sketchbook, especially because it has blank pages and I don't like feeling constricted with lines. And when you're drawing structures, because you're gonna be possibly drawing a lot of structures when you're in medical school, especially for anatomy courses, it's always nice to have some sort of blank canvas where you can draw everything, label it out, color code it, whatever you choose to do. For people who are using a tablet or some sort of iPad device, definitely invest in a stylus. If you don't have a stylus, it's really hard for you to draw things out or label things. So definitely look into investing for one of those. The second resource that I would like for you guys to have is an anatomy app. Look, anatomy is the difficult subject to just visualize and get a good grasp on. You're gonna have to know a lot of structures that are superficial to one another, deep to one another, medial or lateral to one another, and it's not as easy when you're just looking at a picture versus if you have a 3D visualization of it, that's really nice. As well as if you have a cadaver lab, sometimes when you're dissecting the body, it's not as perfect as you would like it to be. So it's sort of nice to have this app where you know where structures are and it helps accompany you when you're taking your anatomy courses. Third resource that I would recommend for you guys to have is a recording app. Look, some lectures are not recorded. Think about it like this. Maybe one day you are really tired going into class or you have an exam in an hour or two hours right after that class and you're not really focused at that moment or the professor is just saying a lot of information within a small period of time and you can't catch everything. So having that lecture recorded where you can go back to that lecture and take notes at your own pace is very valuable for you because now you're gonna have everything that that professor said and you don't have to feel like you missed anything now. So you can look back at that. Also for exam reviews, where professors don't usually record, you could re record exam reviews and maybe you missed something very valuable during an exam review and now you can listen back to that recording and now it's just gonna help you add on to your notes. So I definitely recommend you guys to download a recording app. For the fourth resource that I would like you guys to take advantage of is upperclassmen. Look, you're going into these classes that you probably have never taken in your life. And some of these classes are gonna feel very daunting at times. And so having upperclassmen to talk to, just for five to 10 minutes of your time where they just recommend certain tricks or their notes that they can give you or their books is very, very useful to do very well in these classes. Because a lot of these teachers have certain preferences the way they like to teach. And these upperclassmen can definitely tell you how to study for their classes efficiently and effectively without having you to waste so much time figuring that out. So definitely talk to your upperclassmen, see what they have, see what types of notes they could share with you. This is a very valuable resource that you guys should take advantage of. For the fifth resource that I would recommend you guys to have is using some sort of app such as Quizlet or Anki. I like both. I don't usually have a preference for either one, but using something like Quizlet is really nice because I write down all my notes on my sketchbook and sometimes it could just be a flood of information. And so if I really want to look for a particular thing that I really think was going to be high yield, I write it down on a flashcard. And that's super key for me because let's say two hours before an exam, I just look at these flashcards, the like 50 to 60 flashcards that I made for this particular exam coming up. And I quickly go through that in like 20 minutes time. And it's just nice to have everything organized and everything high yield all in one app. Try to utilize something like Quizlet or Anki because it's gonna definitely pay out in the long run. So for our sixth resource tip that I would recommend you guys to have is something like Notability or OneNote. Maybe you guys are very familiar with that. If you guys aren't, OneNote is an amazing service for PC where similar to Notability, you download your lectures onto this application 
and you can organize it based off section and depending on what section you are you can have different sections with different tabs and you can organize it with different lecture notes for a Tuesday lecture versus a Thursday lecture and vice versa so it's really nice to have everything organized within an application like that because not only can you have it all organized in your computer you could have that synced onto your phone by downloading the application because sometimes you're not gonna always be sitting on a desk studying on your computer maybe you're gonna be on the go maybe you're gonna be very busy or you're gonna be on a flight I found myself having to fly back to LA where I needed to look at my notes and I didn't have my computer with me. So I would open it on my phone and all my notes were synced onto my phone. So it was very easy for me to study my notes through that. So definitely, definitely look into downloading an application like that. Now that I have given you guys all the resources that you need to help dominate your classes, go check out our first year study tips video in order to be successful in all your classes without that added element of stress. Also, if you guys could hit that bell notification down below for our next week's video in a day in the life of a first year podiatric medical student. Lastly, if you guys could, can you comment down below what other resources have helped you? As always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Pod Squad signing out. Take care, guys.